Hey, what's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. Today, we're doing it finally. After several requests on Instagram, after I posted some images on, well, on Instagram, making this jerk pork for my mother's birthday back on Boxing Day. For my American friends, Boxing Day is the day after Christmas Day. There were several requests for this recipe. So here we go, jerk pork in the oven. Yo, vibes it up, man. What's up soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe if you've already clicked subscribe. Hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click. The very first thing we've got to do is to make a sort of jerk marinade. We've done this before. A small thing, we'll do it again. Some garlic. And I'm using a food processor because I want my marinade, this jerk marinade, to be somewhat chunky. Scotch bonnet pepper, we want the seeds and everything, so I'm just gonna cut them in half. If you want to control the heat, as we have discussed before, don't use the seeds and the white membrane surrounding the seeds. That's where most of the heat is going to be. Remember to wash your hands with soap and water immediately after handling them, or you will pay the consequences. Some ginger, and please don't buy that. Chinese ginger, get a nice organic ginger. That Chinese ginger, I don't know who the food on that nonsense. No? I have here a couple shallots. Just gonna peel that back. Well, you guys don't need to see me do that. I'll do that after. We've got some fresh thyme. Let's give that a rough chop. Scallions. I'm gonna take off the the bottom into the garbage. Or if you compost, do your thing. I ain't hating. All of that is going to go into the food processor as well. We lost a piece of scallion, small thing. A nice big onion. Let's cut off the ends. Take off the outer skin. Rough chop. All of it is going into the food processor. Next up, we've got some virgin olive oil, some cinnamon and nutmeg. And here I have black peppercorns and allspice berries, or what they call pimento berries. If you have the powder and you want to use the powder instead, Chris Nut Heaton. Got some salt. And it may look like a lot of salt there. But it is a big piece of pork that we're going to be using. And some dark soy sauce. All the ingredients we use here today will be listed down in the description of the video. And um, the recipe will be on CaribbeanPod.com sooner or later. And some lemon juice. If you had a fresh orange, I would add an orange. Well, the juice of an orange in here as well. Because I love the citrus notes that you get in a good jerk marinade. And all you would do now is blend that and bring it all together. I did forget a key ingredient, which is brown sugar. I don't have any brown sugar today. However, with all the good intentions, I wanted to use some honey today. And this is pure honey. My boy over at Irie Hives. I will link it down in the description if you wanted to get some. This is yo, this is as pure as honey can get. Soon I'll share a, a video with you guys how this is, comes together. So instead of that brown sugar, some of that honey just to add a sweetness to everything and to bring everything together and yeah, don't worry I'm gonna mm. and the other thing my boy over at Irie Hive has is an organic honey vinegar I'm gonna go in with about a tablespoon of that this is totally optional if you have it you can use it but it's a new ingredient to me and I want to put it to use here now is when we're gonna bring all that together There you go, we've got a nice chunky jerk marinade. Look at that, so it's smelling nice. And what you're seeing here is a pork leg with the bone running through here. So, so there is the bone, and we've got that skin. And what I did was I went and I made some cuts in the skin, and I sort of butterflied it. It was, it was like that before. So I sort of butterflied it. 
and made a whole bunch of cuts where that marinade can get into. So what we're going to do now is put it into a zipper lock bag, a nice strong one. I'm going to cut off this bit of fat here. The skin is what I want. That's going to help keep it nice and moist when we have it in the oven. Zipper lock bag, pour it in, pour the marinade in there. And after that marinade goes all in there, you want to... I'm going to go in with my hands and really massage that in. And there you go. I've gone ahead and massaged it really well inside there. I'm going to put it onto a plate just in case this bag leaks. You never know. Into the fridge overnight. We need it for about 12 to 20. Well, 12 hours should be fine overnight. And tomorrow we're going to roast this off in the oven. This is going to be packed with flavor. I guarantee you that. Fast forward 24 hours later. And I put it into my roasting pan here. My oven is preheated to 375. 375 degrees Fahrenheit. In my personal opinion, a good jerk. You can't ever go with too much fresh thyme and some more scallion in there. Totally optional, but that thing is going to put you. Hey, it's going to make all kind of niceness. Now, in the same bag where we marinated that pork, what I have here is some orange juice, one cup of orange juice, and that is just going to help to braise everything and bring it all together nicely. And I'm sure you can already tell this is going to be pure fire. Into the oven now, 375, middle rack, low and slow. We want this to roast off, and as it roasts, you're going to start getting all that scent and flavor, and your kitchen will start to have that wicked smell of the pimento berry. Notice some of them didn't, didn't break down. That is cool. That is cool. We aren't worrying too much about that. That ginger, the thyme, the garlic, the cinnamon. It's all kind of nice. It's in here. Into the oven now, 375. Let me shut my mouth for a second. It's been about an hour now in the fridge and a couple things if I forgot to mention to you all. I did not tent it with foil whatsoever. You can do that if you want. I want this to develop a nice color. The second thing is, if you notice, the fat or the skin side is up. What happens is, as the heat hits it, that fat is going to render down and go into uh, the leaner parts of the meat and keep it nice and moist. One hour in, back into the oven, there's all kind of niceness happening there. So there you go, it's been in the, I keep wanting to see the fridge or refrigerator, but it's been in the oven for two hours and 45 minutes. I, I prefer if it would have gone for three hours, to be honest with you, but look at the color. You can only imagine the scent in this kitchen here. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you all here in the kitchen with me. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you can do so at CaribbeanPod. Leave your recipe requests on there. One more quick thing. This same recipe that we did here in the oven, come summertime, it's, it's the first day of spring or the second day of spring right now. Um, I will show you how to do it outside on your barbecue, your propane barbecue, and get a lovely smoke flavor in there as well. Big up on yourself, man. My little baby is here. We've got cookbooks, guys. WestIndianFoodCompany.com. Get your copy today.